the most presti prestigious pot events. I, is there another one? I've never well, heard of any other events. There's a couple of imitators, but they're usually like um, mostly European run or this is really the only... Uh, now you guys used to get celebrity judges like um, Richard Belzer once was going to go, but then he got his TV job and he figured he couldn't do it. Right. Who and was the biggest person who ever judged? Uh, yeah, who would, I would say last year we had Rita Marley, Bob Marley's widow. Oh. Hmm. Well, you would expect her to be there. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. And so who is the, who's going to be there this year? This year, um, celebrity judges are uh, John Sinclair. Um, a few, it, this year is a jazz thing, so it's... Um, couple jazz musicians and um no, actually I don't you don't even know them <laughs> jackie the joke man if he wants to bring his, uh, little heineken raft and float down the canal so what do you guys do like jackie i'm looking for a free trip john sinclair isn't he like some kind of rebel dude yeah he got busted for like two joints i believe and um uh, <laughs> i think lennon once did a song about it no, that's his free, name. Free, free john sinclair yeah, yeah. free john sinclair yeah right he got busted for like two joints and Ann Arbor, Michigan, and the MC5 and all that house. Yeah, that's the one I saw. Jackie, I'm not 55 years old. Oh, you, know how, you know how you make fun of me and you say, like, there's no appearance, I'll pass on? Right. I pass on this one. Why? Because it's a long way to go and I don't even get high. How much money do they pay you? I think it's just a trip. Oh, I see. see like, Jackie would do it for the joy of the trip. Oh, yeah. Oh, he only wants the vacation in Amsterdam. How come they ask you and not me? I don't know, but they, they take you in a minute. Yeah, Jackie. Why well, yes, Papa Bully, not me. Now my feeling is half problem. I got to get stoned. <laughs> we need, we need <laughs> smokers. And Jackie goes to me. Hey, what's going on with the cannabis cup? Is he many judges? Is he any else? Yeah, he's like, yeah. No, wait, they, they called Jackie last year. Yeah, like, like I'm in charge. Yeah, well, that's because that's him showing me his anger. You know, like. No, yeah. it was doing you guys do something. Yeah, last year's during Thanksgiving week. But what do you care? Yeah, what do you care? It's always during Thanksgiving. Yeah, I have no family. You really do have no family. I mean, your mother sits in front of the TV. It makes a difference one year you're not at Thanksgiving. Yeah, well, Jackie's out there. It'll break up the whole Martling right, plan. Right, we won't even get together. Well, yeah. Last year, I did. <coughs> last year, I was a celebrity judge. And it's just, you wouldn't believe how much fun you have to smoke in the course of a week to you know, put in your boat. It even got you down, huh? Even you were, like, overwhelmed. Yeah, it was, it was very stressful. So how, Jackie, do you, how do you determine, you know, after you smoke, which pot? I actually don't think I could even do it. Well, you know, that's all, oh, please. No, you smoke a little, you get stoned. You know. You're not gonna, you can't handle more. No, yeah, but I couldn't tell you what's, what's good, what's bad. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's the whole idea of getting high. Oh, that, that but how do you determine <clears throat> what's the best after you're like loose out of your exactly. mind? Exactly. You know, well, that's the hard part about it's it. It's a charade. Well, that's what, that's what the guy's saying. You, it's not just you know, you don't be a judge. You got to know what you're doing. <laughs> you got to pace yourself. That's what the guy's trying to say. You can't pace yourself. You just got to keep going until you finally melt down at the end of the week. But How much pot will you sample during the uh, cannabis cup? Uh, vast quantity. I would say a good 30 joints a day. At Jeez. Least. Howard, yeah. I was in Amsterdam. Right. I bought some pot, rolled a joint. Me and Burke went and had a beer. I smoked three hits. I looked at him, and I didn't know who he was. Right. Three hits. I know. I, I, that make I you spent paranoid? three days smoking the same goddamn joint. Doesn't that make you paranoid? Not paranoid. It just, it's that strong. Yeah, I get, I get nuts when I'm that out of control. Oh, I don't mind. It's just, there's yeah, no reason to keep smoking. Control. I know. But Chris, you smoke every day. Right. And you have for the last few years. Right, right. You pretty much smoke throughout the day from waking up to going to sleep. Right. So this you shouldn't... pretty high <clears throat> Yeah, this shouldn't scare you. Well, it's, you know, when you get there, the, their pot is all very high quality and... <laughs> uh, and the problem is a lot of their strains of pot, they hybridize them and so forth, so all the pot's starting to taste the same, you know, kind of like mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. So you got to get through the production line buds to get to the real, you know, <laughs> good stuff. No. He is a connoisseur. Yeah, this guy knows what he's talking about. Yeah, well, Are you allowed to um, get high at High Times magazine? Uh, well, not in the office, but it's okay to be stoned up there. It is. They encourage it, I would imagine. Well, yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's it's a normal office up there. We've got suits and ties walking around. It's right, nice. and you're considered a kind of sort of pot. In other words, you're an incredible joint roller. Right, right. Oh, we should have a joint roller <coughs> contest. Yeah, yeah, the official uh, joint roller contest. Yeah. And also that you can identify strains of pot and whether it's grown indoors or outdoors just by looking at it. Yeah. Yeah, and probably when you were in high school, your parents were pissed that you were smoking pot, but now you've worked it into a job. Yeah, it's kind of how it worked out. So yeah, you're a they, hero. They're okay with it now. Well, my parents always support it. Oh. Are you one of those hemp guys too? Are you into hemp? Not really. I, I mean, I'm for it, you know, but I don't. I own a hemp bag. You do? Yes. Did you ever brush your teeth with hemp? No, yeah, there's this new product out. It's, it's amazing. <laughs>
I was kidding. Yeah, go ahead. It's a product uh, called, like, I think, Compound 420 or something. You can wax your car with it, you can brush your teeth with it. Wow. I mean, it's all the things. Really? You can shampoo your dog with it. And it's him. Yeah. I mean, I never tried it. Now, do your parents smoke pot? No, not at all. Mm. Mm. They're on S. <laughs> <laughs> do they know you smoke pot? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I pretty much, I got busted, I think when I was, like, 16 in my parents' house was like an ounce of Mexican pot. <laughs> so that's how they kind of got tipped off to me early on. And so they Jackie, said you had to stop. are you going to go over and be a judge? I don't know. I still have still on the dates. Is it Thanksgiving well, week? Yeah, it's uh, November 23rd to the 27th. Oh. Here's free. I have commitments. I have to watch my mother watch TV. Oh, I do know. He has that orange. And I have to cancel my of Heineken there. I can cancel that. <laughs> Maybe I'll take that. <clears throat> do you guys drink while you smoke pot? I do. You probably need to. Yeah. Talking to now. Are you worried that you might be addicted in, one, in some way? No, no, I quit every, you know, every now and then. Every day. <laughs> right, and then I you start I'm right back up again. Off and, you know, get a little perspective on it. Are you fat? I'm just curious. You must get incredible munchies. No, I'm, uh, I don't get the munchies that much. Once you smoke all the time, you just, you don't really. You become oblivious. Right. Now, let me ask something else, because, you know, the whole thing about pot is that it's an aphrodisiac. Right. So you go over to Amsterdam and you smoke pot. Is that all you do? Is just smoke? Because you're, you know, there's all these parties. This will be my fourth year to go to the cup. So, you know, you're 22 and this is your fourth. This is your fourth year. Yeah, so I was 18. So. But you go, you can have sex and there's girls around and all that stuff. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the idea. Wow. So it sounds like a good time. It's a big party. They yeah, call it. Give me a yeah. one-way ticket. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to come back. Yeah, How could you not go to this? This is your mecca, dude. I can hear me Monday. Ready to come do I still have a job? <laughs> dude, how could you not go to this? Seriously. This is so you. This is everything you're about. Pot, you know, beer. I even knew this guy was booked. I, it actually was going through my mind. Well, he kept hitting me up. He kept going, what's going on with the cannabis cup? I wonder if they need any judges. Like, I'm gonna get on that. Yeah. Get it. Like, he, like, I'm not even aware the cannabis cup. It was time for it. Yeah. Jackie's like, oh. It's the best holiday. It's better than Christmas. Yeah, it's like, cannabis cup. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I mean, and it's like Jackie's dream to go to the cannabis cup. Well, why don't you go? Dude, do it. You might as well do it before I quit radio because they're going to be looking for you if I was a judge once I quit. Look, they're looking at John Sterling as a host. They'll still be mm. looking yeah, for Jackie. That's what you think. <laughs> They'll always be looking for Jackie. What do you, what's your, what's your uh, hesitation, dude? Thanksgiving. What? Who's, who's available for Thanksgiving? Nobody's left. You're such a prick. No, I mean, nobody's around. Who's, who are you going to celebrate with? Nancy? I have family. I have my sister and her kids and my mom. Maybe I'll take it's them. like you don't see them. So take them to the cup. Maybe I'll make uh, Thanksgiving the week before. That's what I'm saying. So you can go over and smoke pot. <laughs> Could you call his sister and his I'll, mother I'll and go? the kids down and explain. Uncle yeah. Jack, he has a very important... Uh, well, if Uncle Jack can explain murder, you yeah. should be able to Uncle explain... Ja Uncle Jack needs to go to the cannabis cup and smoke. <laughs> Uncle Jack needs to get high. Uncle Jack, he's had enough. Okay, Check it out. Say, life is tough. I better take an ice pick to the radio in my sister's car. Cook <laughs> <laughs> yeah. your own turkey. I gotta get stoned. Ethan, go ahead. You're on with uh, one of the world's greatest pot smokers. Correct. Yes. I'm a medical marijuana patient in California. Yeah. I may have met you at the Wii Festival. Yeah, you maybe you did. I was there the last two years. Who remembers? I was arrested a few months ago, and Eric Shevin, the greatest lawyer, with Bruce Markle's office, they advertised in high time. Right, right. Got everything dropped. Wow. Um, but the San Clemente Sheriff's Department are being douchebags about it and not giving me my stuff back. Yeah. What, you drugs? Yeah, my medicine. Your oh. medicine. <laughs> Are you taking medical marijuana? Yeah. Well, what's the difference? What's wrong with you? I have Tourette's syndrome. Oh, please. Are they stop <laughs> Yeah. It's not just symptoms. I've got medical reports that can show you. Really? Mm. So yeah. marijuana cures Tourette's? Supposedly there isn't any, there is not any legal... Like, you know there's, like, legal medical marijuana? Yeah. There's only two people in the country who are deemed <laughs> yeah, appropriate for it. There's eight official... Uh, people who um, <laughs> who are the, the national program. Eight people. <laughs> Is that like a dream? Is that a dream for you guys over at High Times? It like could be a medical, medically approved pot smoker? No, I'm I'm a, I am a recreational user myself. Right. But it'd be great because then you can get all kinds of medicinal pot. Uh, is the medicinal pot stronger or is it? Well, listen, I've tried the government pot before and it's, it's totally bonked. You know, it's, is it? But no good. They grow pot in Kentucky, the government does. And they uh, they take the whole plant and they run it through uh, 
um, a machine that cuts out the stems, the stalks, the seeds, and everything. They don't even know what they're doing. Right. And they yeah, they'll all, separate it. And they roll up everything. You know, they don't take just... That's criminal. <laughs> Our tax dollars are going... I might have to run for office. <laughs> wow, that's unbelievable. Definitely. What is it there, John? They had offered Jack and I to be uh, 